I'm back from Australia, back in the UK. I've just done my two month road trip around and I have been vlogging it for all of you that asked. Um, but it's taken me a while to get all the videos out. So I think I am at Darwin on uh, the channel at the moment, but I am actually home now. And I did give you a bit of an update on the sat on my house while I was away. Um, but I thought I'd give you another update because that was uh, a few weeks ago and uh, things have happened. Oh. But first off, I have to say, when I got back, not only was it cold, um, but it was really, really strange walking into my house because I'd forgotten just how empty it was. Because if we go back, just before I went to Australia, my son came and he cleared out all my beds and all my furniture and all these boxes and now it really does echo in here so i kind of forgotten how echoey it was and when i came home it didn't really feel like my home anymore uh, but there we go um i did have a wonderful time in australia i'm very exhausted i've still got jet lag i got back two days ago and i'm been getting up at four o'clock in the morning still so i look a little tired that is why but i had a fabulous time um, just, you know, it was just brilliant. So while I was away, I was getting onto the house. Um, I put it back on the market with a different agent and they had a couple of viewings on the first week I was away and I did get an offer. And I did update you on, on that. And it was a, you know, acceptable offer. It was within my guide price. And uh, so I was happy with that. Then um, a couple of weeks ago, he came back and couldn't get the mortgage for the full amount and so they want me to drop i think it works out about eight percent nearly ten percent of my price <sighs> i don't know if buyers do this on purpose you know if they think that you're so desperate to move that you'll you'll do that you will drop it. I don't understand this tactic. I really don't know why you want to. So you will recall that at first he was very eager to move things quickly, but then he wasn't actually taking any action. And I kept pulling my estate agents up on this. It's so difficult when you're there on the side of the world because you're WhatsApping and you're emailing. It's very difficult to call. Anyway, he came back and he's uh, like slashed his offer. And... Um, this, this, so my agent called me on WhatsApp were about a week before I came back. No, no, it was probably a week ago today, actually. So I was still in Australia. And, you know, and then I'm getting WhatsApp messages saying, have you made your mind up? Have you made your mind up? And I asked, I said, look, I'm really busy enjoying myself. I'm also traveling at the moment and I've got jet lag and I need time to think about this. This is a huge sum of money and I need to weigh up what's best for me now and, you know, what are my plans. Um, and I'm not going to be rushed into accepting an offer that is a lot lower than it should have been. Or that the original offer was. I mean, it just seems so, I don't know, I've just got a really niggly feeling about this. I have from the beginning, like, when he wasn't, like, doing anything towards it. it was, um, I don't know, I've just had this niggly feeling about it all along. Something just doesn't feel right. And usually when it doesn't feel right, something isn't right. So that's really where I am at the moment. He's low pulled his offer and I'm still weighing up my options. Uh, so I'll update you when I make my mind up. Now, <clears throat> you know, th there was this like, would I come home and think, oh, I really miss the UK and perhaps I don't want to leave and go traveling full time. I have to say, I don't feel like that at all. I mean, I got back in the UK, I wanted to leave again. I, it's just made me want to go even more i just just want to be traveling i don't want to be here and you know i'm getting i am getting older you know i'm not I'm, you know i'm not a, i've got a few ailments like we all have at my you know our age but you know there's nothing seriously wrong with me or anything like that and i just want to be able to do as much as i can while i can and i wonder whether this you know has something to do with the hint that, that i'm desperate to go no, I still, I still want to go. I can't wait to go. I really can't. But the house is very empty. And I am still decluttering. So between my jet lag and falling asleep at 8 o'clock in the evening and getting up at 4, um, 
I actually have sold some stuff on market face, uh, Facebook Marketplace today as well. So I have some Hoovers still in the uh, garage that have gone. And uh, so I'm still getting on with it because whatever happens, my plan is to leave. Anyway, I've missed all you guys. And uh, I'll try and give you regular updates on what's happening with my house. But nothing really is happening at the moment. It's just all on standstill. Let's see what they what happens. Um, but I, I just want time to think about it. It's so easy to rush into a decision, isn't it, when you're tired and um, a bit disorientated. And um, on the one hand, you know, I've got I've got a buyer and do I just suck up the loss and get on with my life? And the other thing is, do, do I hold on or do I really look at renting out my home for a few years, which I really don't want to do? Um, I really just don't want the hassle, even though I can get a letting agent, I really don't want the hassle. Anyway, don't worry, I'm uh, still, still tired, still pondering, I'm still planning my future. I mean, uh, yeah, looking up the old Google flights, where's flights, where's cheap to go to? And uh, I am going away for Christmas, I'm going to Madeira with my brother and his wife to visit her family, so... That's not that far away either, is it? Christmas will soon be round the corner. Oh. Doesn't that annoy you? Before I went away, they had Christmas puddings and mince pies and Christmas cards and everything in the shops. I mean, ugh, why? Just why do you do it? Wait till December. It makes it more fun if it's all concentrated into a small point. I'm sick of it already. Ugh, Christmas pests. Forget the whole family and got kids. Yeah. I will catch up with you soon. I'll keep you updated with the house now that now that, now that I'm back. And again, thank you all for your support on uh, my channel while I've been away. So I haven't been able to give so many updates, but I know some of you have been following my Australia adventure and you know, give me lots of lovely comments, and uh, I really appreciate that. Let's get to it. Back to normal. I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks. Bye.